Just a few years ago, drones were featured in futuristic movies, often as spying devices. But today, you can walk into a toy shop and buy one for your kid, or better yet, yourself. So many people ask for this product. They all know that now drone is booming. The biggest market is the average people, not the top people. Actually, the, the lower part that is a huge market. This drone can connect to three different devices: a control pad, a smartphone, and this watch. Virtual reality and drones are two of the hottest technologies on the market right now, and this product combines both into one, which means that I can see everything from my drone's point of view. The screen for the goggles is actually your smartphone. An app links the drone camera to the phone, which can then be linked to your social media, so your friends can watch in real time as well. Max says the recommended retail price for this is 500 U.S. dollars, pretty steep for a child. But it turns out that isn't the target market. According to a survey, 40 percent of U.S. toy manufacturers' products are designed for adults. Our target market for this product is for the regular cell phone holder, not professional aerial photography. The watch has a follow me function that allows the wearer to link the drone to themselves without using a remote to control it. As long as they want to watch, they can on a bike and then go, and the drone will follow them and film them and. All his friends can watch him real time. The tech part of this toy show is six times larger than it was two years ago. Benjamin Chow of the Hong Kong Trade Development Council says he sees this as a huge growth area for manufacturers. Quite a number of company are making use of the latest technology in, in their toys, but they may be named as、uh, hobby goods. For those wishing they had their own Batmobile, you can now have a mini replica of it for just under one thousand U.S. dollars. It's around two thousand six hundred components inside a car. It seems like a mini computer inside. It need to control the all the like the cockpit door movement, and the machine gun movement, and the light control, and also the gear movement. Adrian says this is a collector's item, as it's as close as possible to the one used in the latest movie. Actually, this one is very fast. Really? How、yes. fast is it? Um, it's around ten kilometers per hour. So this is hooked up.、Mm -hmm. This car is hooked up to your smartphone or your tablet, right? Yeah, right. Okay, so how does it work? Okay, so just like when I press this button, and the door will be opened. Adrian has also created a mind control game using technology normally used for medical purposes. It retails at about 180 U.S. dollars. Using electroencephalography or EEG headgear, the device detects electrical signals from the brain and connects them to the tablet, where the holographic game is played. The mind、uh, chipset can detect eight channels from your brain wave. We got the hardware, but we have to develop the software. In this game, the player has to fly through hoops using focus and eye blinking commands. How am I missing this? <laughs> ah, I got them all. Excellent. It's really focused. Adrian says he expects the trend of high tech toys to continue. Every family or even every person can have their own mini computer. So it's very、uh, good for us to、uh, invest a lot of、uh, new products、um, to use that kind of device. It can be、uh, very popular because it's more interactive elements can be put inside. This combines the traditional board game with technology for a holographic interactive game. Michael Lin used to provide motion capture technology services, but saw the toy industry as a bigger market. Not all the tech is earmarked for the big kids. We are thinking、uh, how to make the kids to play outside the electronic、uh, screens. So we think about the board game and the hologram technology. Using Bluetooth and graphic sensing technology with our app, the board game characters can interact with the players. So you can you can walk for three steps. Okay, so I think I will come towards me. You have to put your character card. 
You have to challenge the guard. I'm challenging the guard. Yes. So I put my my finger yes. here. Oh, great. Yeah, I You win. If that's not interactive enough, this toy lets kids pretend to be paleontologists digging up dinosaur bones. The bonus at the end is you get an augmented reality dinosaur once you've dug up all the bones and connect the dinosaur's DNA helix. Once you have the apps on your smartphones or tablets, you just need to um, put it uh, focus on the play mat and then to scan the dinosaur's DNA. Yeah, he is with us now. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So I can basically be in a room with yes. a T Rex and a volcano. Combining a smart device, Bluetooth, and virtual reality, this toy allows kids to experience the past in the present using some pretty futuristic tech. And you can share this video with your friends? Yes, you can use the apps to take a pictures or videos, and then you just need to press a button to share the pictures or videos with your friends. Also bringing the past to the present are these 4D smart maps. They allow puzzle aficionados to not only put together maps of ancient cities, which are layered over the present day maps, but to learn the history behind the landmarks in the puzzle. It was supposed to be a figurine of a city, but I had to work backwards because everything obviously has to fit in a box for the retail stores. So we started like chopping it into pieces for the purpose of packaging, but ended up being a puzzle. He then added the app to it last year. Point your smart device to a monument on the map, and it gives you its history, answering the riddle of the Sphinx. As tech and toys come together, so does the market of young and old. Kids' toys mimic adult gadgets, and adult toys combine cutting-edge technology with fun, making for a fast-growing market.